Hello everyone and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 1.6 with Kerbalism. This is going to be a career mode playthrough in which I discover the ins and outs of the mod called Kerbalism, which is a realism mod with various features, and I'm going to discover those. This is going to be in the stock system with Kerbin, Duna, etc. And as such, because I'm so conditioned to playing realism overhaul and I haven't played the stock game in quite a while, uh, this is not going to be a tutorial, okay? Uh, I haven't ever played with Kerbalism before, so I'm going to be learning the ropes uh, just as anybody else would, and you're going to get to enjoy watching me mess around. Uh, I do have some other visual mods here, but no functional mods. So you can see the Spectra visual compilation from Average Joe and the required mods that go with that. And I'll just read you the mods currently in my game data folder. This object enhancement, environmental visual enhancements, that's just the plugins for that. Kerbalism, Copernicus, KSPRC has certain files that Spectra required. Uh, module flight integrator, which is uh, comes with something else. Uh, Real Plumes, Scatterer, Smokescreen, Spectra's own files, the Squad folder, the Making History DLC, and Texture Replacer, and of course Module Manager. So those are the mods in, mainly just all the usual visual mods that you would uh, acquire, and Kerbalism. So that's what we've got, and let's begin here, start a new career. I'm gonna call it, uh, should I call it Career? Mm, no, no, let's let's go official. We'll make it EDB. Uh, I don't have my EDB flag though, so I'll just take the Kerbin flag to remind me that I'm playing around Kerbin and not Earth. So we have some difficulty options, of course, and I'm just going to make it custom right away because it's going to end up being custom anyway. Uh, so, and I'm not going to change these because I don't know how much Kerbalism is going to cost me. I'm not going to allow reverting flights, no quick loading, no missing crews in uh, respawn. Um, mm, I, I want entry purchase required on research, that's fine. Indestructible facilities, yes. Allow other launch sites, yes. And enable comm network, of course. Um, I think all of these. And always allow action groups, I'm going to go with that. Uh, require signal for control and plasma blackout. I don't remember about resource transfer obeys crossfeed rules. How resource transfer works in realism overall is completely different anyway. I'm just going to leave that be. Okay, so for Kerbalism, we've got other stuff that I won't touch. Transmit science immediately. Interesting. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Stress breakdowns. Lifetime radiation. Well, okay, I, I take it back. We will... Select the. I want all the functions. Can mistake make mistakes while they're under stress? Huh. Well, we'll have to see how that works. I think uh, we'll have all the failures, and then there are these advanced things: ideal living space, social factor, call home factor. Got a lot to think about. This actually gets to why I wanted to learn about Kerbalism in the first place, and that's because I think a lot of its functions could be useful in Realism Overhaul, but there is a question of whether I really want all these things in Realism Overhaul or not. It does already have a real solar system configuration to it, but that doesn't mean it'll play nice with the rest of Realism Overhaul and all the other Realism mods. Uh, but if we take a look, especially radiation, I think would be handy to have. We really don't have a model of radiation in Realism Overhaul right now. Uh, but there's a lot of other stuff going on here, and some of it overlaps with like uh, USI life support with the what you got living space and how happy they're gonna be. But there's just a lot of other things going on that I'm gonna have to figure out. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at contracts. Launch our first vessel seems like a good idea, and gather scientific data from Kerbin seems like another good starting one. And let's take a look at what we've got going in the parts. Of course, we are going with Kerbals first. So that's going to be interesting. In other words, not probe pores first. Um, there's this shielding here. So this is the radiation shielding. Now, for this mission, I don't think I need to carry that. But that's, uh, that's a good thing. I like that as far as its functionality is concerned. Uh, let's just uh, make sure we've got the basics. Parachute. This is how the pods look now. I'm having to get used to that, but it's got... It doesn't have any shielding on the bottom of it. 
but I don't think we're gonna get high enough with just the flea, and that is what I'm going to have here. If I recall correctly, um, and th this does look a lot better now too, um, if I recall correctly, the parachute can handle both the capsule and the flea like this. Obviously we need to have right staging, and in 1.6 we have the Delta V marked here. I don't have MechJib right now, MechJib hasn't been updated to 1.6. I know about Kerbal Engineer, I haven't checked that, but I presume it might be taking a little bit more time to update than the visual mods, we'll see. Um, we've got this, these Delta V tools, so... Yeah, okay, anyway, it's fine. It's fine, uh, this is what we're gonna do, and hopefully we won't kill... Uh, hopefully we won't kill anybody. Let's bring it down here. Is there anything else we need? I don't think so. It's not like we have a whole lot of parts to start out with anyway. Communication? I mean, maybe goo. I didn't realize I had the stock music on. I guess I'll leave it on for now. It's been a long, long time since I've heard it. Let's see what science we can get out of goo too. Okay. This might be a good idea, might not be a good idea. Um, why don't we action group the science? Uh, no, maybe not, because it's gonna do both of the goos. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Let's see, it's Jeb. It's Jeb. Let's go. Oh, and now we can change how they look, is that Yeah. Hmm, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, let's go. Okay, well, SAS should be possible. I have no idea what making mistakes is all about. Why does <laughs> Jeb has hair right now? Does he lose his hair over time? Maybe. Um... This is interesting, isn't it? EVA, Relay... Huh. Probe, Rover... Is that like a search function or something? Anyway. Okay. Well, here we go for our first launch. I should have dumped the mod repellent. Oh well. Okay, anything... Well, let's do one goo here. Let's see if it does anything. Uh, well, 2.4 science is not too shabby. Let's keep that. Um... Record data. Hmm. Lots of little messages to track. And how about crew report? Where is the crew report? 1.8 science. We can transmit that, but we don't have a whole lot of electric charge. Okay, did we transmit that? It doesn't record any science. Okay, so that's different. It's got this data here. Flag the file for transmission to DSM. Oh dear. Okay, so it's all complicated right now. Well, yeah, let's trans... Oh, um, okay. I guess we have to wait until it transmits because we're not... I don't know why. Okay, that's fine. I think that'll do for now. We can do other stuff around the launch pad later. Okay, go! Please don't go past the G-Force limit. <laughs> okay, observe mystery goo. Uh, keep. Record. And crew report. Keep. So the whole science thing works differently with Kerbalism too, unless that's something that's changed in stock since last time I played. I think it's probably Kerbalism, but I'm not sure. Okay, um, let's deploy the chute. Okay, whoa, it's taking a long time to deploy that parachute, but okay. Alright. So that's all good. Nothing really got transmitted, did it? I'm gonna have to figure out what all this transmission stuff is about. Hmm. All right, well, let's recover vessel. 19 science. That's pretty good. Recovery of vessel gave us five. Okie dokie. Well, we better unlock some parts because we sure don't have many of them. Basic rocketry sounds like a good idea. Engineering 101. 
All right, we've got survivability as well. Now we never have to use the flea again. I don't suppose they've made it more useful than it used to be. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Uh, what would be nice is if uh, it was sort of a nice vacuum stage. There are a lot of SRBs that look about like this that are actually used for vacuum stages, but no, that's not what it is. Okay, let's purchase that, purchase that. Still have no idea about supplies. We've got shielding here, but... Oh, uh, here we've got reaction wheel quality, uh, life support quality, Habitat, Enabled, Science Instrument Quality, and Data Transmitter Quality. Pressure Control is running. Air Pump is running. Wow. I think for this next one I should probably get a heat shield. So there we have 1,962 meters per second. That should be enough to escape the atmosphere, but this can handle more. So it says Thrust to weight ratio is checked up here, but I haven't noted. Okay, so if I like, there we go. Uh, 1.8 right now. That's a lot of thrust to weight ratio. Let's call this space one. No, not, not space exclamation mark, space one. And let me pick up the contract. Escape the atmosphere. Um. Test uh, LV, well, it, wow, that's a really high altitude to test uh, LVT-45. Okay, well, not right now. Focused observational, oh, these are, they're too low. Kerbin's stupidity, really. They give us a lot of time to do these, actually. Okay, I'm, I'm confident that we've got enough Delta V to at least escape the atmosphere. I could probably build an orbital rocket, but let's just do this first. Let's get a different Kerbal. Let's have Valentina do it. And is she going to be safe? We've got... Uh, I don't know where it tracks the radiation, the lifetime radiation of the Kerbal. Maybe in the crew center. But I don't expect Valentina to experience much radiation on this flight, even though it's going into space. Okay, throttle up, SAS on, Valentina's got here too, and, uh, and launch. I'm gonna give it a little bit of tilt. I want to splash down. Could really use the apoapsis and periapsis on this screen while they're showing me all the other information over here. That's uh, that would be handy. But we have to go to map view instead. Body info. We'll go to 100 kilometers. I don't want to overdo it. That just means it's got to be harsh on the way back down. Okay. Upper atmosphere stuff. Okay, keep that. I mean, seriously, can we transmit this stuff or not? Maybe it's because we don't have, we have this little built in transmitter, but maybe we need a real transmitter or something. I'll have to take a look at our transmission devices to see if there's something special we need. There's two dumps now, so I guess this dump associates with this scrubber, and this one associates with the pressure control. Though I still don't know exactly what that means. Okay, we're in space now. Crew report. Keep. It looks like we can keep more than one crew report, finally. I never knew why there was a limitation in the first place. But yeah. Okay, let's get rid of the booster. Signal lost with space one plasma blackout. That's fair enough. Please slow down so that we can deploy the parachute though. And not too many G-forces. Suborbital flights are always rough on the G's though. Signal's back. But do we have enough time to deploy the parachute? Come on, drag.
Okay, safely subsonic now. Really like the look of the water with scatterer and everything. Wish I had water like this in certain flight sims. Yeah, oh, it, it, yeah, it's just looking good at all angles these days. All right, recover vessel. 19 more science. We're just bringing in all the science right now. Maybe I need to tune down the science awards and everything. Let's go 70% and... 70% and... My reputation is not that good. I'll leave that be. Let, let's do this for now. I still have to figure out exactly what's going to be safe and what's not. But uh, we'll, we'll take what we've got. So we've unlocked all the stuff here. I should have probably baselined to hard and then done all the other tweaks. Okay, uh, orbital rocket. We still don't have anything else that I really need here. So we just want to build a two-stage rocket with uh, the LVT-45. And how much thrust to weight ratio? 1.19, barely enough to get off the ground. This one, 2.79, so let's tune this down a bit to 50%. Now it's 1.4, and that's a little bit better. Uh, are we carrying more stuff than we need? Feel like we could do with less ablator. But maybe we, we should try with full ablator first, just to be safe. So this is going to be space 2. Hope you're not looking to me for great naming conventions. All right, uh, next one is it's Jeb's turn this time. Wonder if I should put fins on. Hmm. Well, we're gonna find out. All right, thrall up, SAS on, and launch. I'm gonna try not to ch take any chances here. You can see point in prograde and everything. There's potentially going to be a flip on staging as we temporarily have only the reaction wheel in the pod to control it. No, it looks fine. Separation. Okay, let's not overdo it. We're just going to coast and try to make it to an 80 kilometer orbit. And um, I don't think the crew report's going to do anything new, no. Hmm, a little bit tighter on the Delta V than I thought I was going to be. I haven't actually picked up the orbit contract yet anyway. See, now now I have a bit of a problem since I can't see my periapsis the same time I'm seeing my Delta V. Hmm. I might want to err on the safe side here. Well, that's a camera change. But do I want to make orbit without having picked up the contract? Well, we've got a whole bunch of milestones anyway. Maybe we should just have an auto-return periapsis this time around. And then next time we'll get to full orbit once we've picked up the contract. So, we can still do some extra science, right? I mean, but in space near Kerbin, it doesn't seem like the crew port's bio-independent. And we can't EVA yet. I've got to keep in mind how much the buildings are going to cost to upgrade. It seems to like to deviate from retrograde. Is that a Kerbal messing up, or, or what? Is it lack of experience? I don't know. Okay, that seemed fairly gentle. And even better, hardly any of later was lost. I think even with substantial margin, we could cut that down to maybe, let's say, 60 units of a later. Okay, we have landed. Um, maybe Jeb should get out and do some science here. Let's see. Crew report first. Um, grasslands. Keep. EVA. Um, I don't suppose this is flying over. No, it's just from the grasslands. Keep. Board. Okay, I think that's what we've got. Alright, recover vessel. Okay, 2.2 science. But that's reasonable. Let's pick up the orbit contract. Cross the radiation belt. Ooh. We may need radiation shielding for that. 
Um, it, it really should tell us where the radiation belt is, shouldn't they? Uh, you know? Hmm, how deadly they really are. Well, let's hold off on that. It doesn't expire, so it'll hang out. So this time we can reduce the... The ablator on here to 60. And that gives us like 100 extra delta V. Everything else seemed to work out alright. So this will be Valentina's turn. Now you guys uh, might wonder why I'm not using the onion even though it's uh, less mass. And that's primarily because of its horrible aerodynamic shape. So this is much better for being on the top of a rocket. Uh, I note that there's an air pump with electric charge. I guess that's point two five nine per minute and atmosphere I don't I don't know what it means when it says atmosphere or what units that's measured in I mean of course it's per second but what 12.275 watt per second I don't know I will find out there's a data transmitter and it's got reliability so life support is just uh, working like that as opposed to having supplies, per se. At least as far as I could tell. Maybe we unlock certain life support supplies later on. But right now we don't have anything like that. There's no indication that they require special life support. Let's get all the extra signs here. Geiger counter seems like it might be important. So let's at least put a thermometer and a Geiger counter on. Okay, this will be space three, but I wanted to check on the astronaut comp at the astronaut complex whether they have the radiation stats. Um, no, apparently not. They do have endurance and the max sustainable g forces and everything, which is way low compared to what anybody trained as a fighter pilot would at least say that they could sustain. But uh, I'm sure the Kerbals would dispute these figures themselves. So this seems to be a vessel search function. I think that's probably built into the game now. This is scatterer. That's texture replacer. All right, let's try for orbit then. Which delta V is it showing me? It's probably just showing me the ground delta V. Doesn't really have an option for vacuum delta V, does it? Or is that... No. It's probably some advanced options somewhere. Okay, throttle up, SAS on, and launch. I know I didn't do the temperature and radiation on the surface. We've got a bit of a spaghetti situation here. Mild spaghettiness. Okay, separation. We're a bit steeper than last time, so that's not great. Okay, let's get the upper atmosphere science. Log temperature. What What if I wanted to transmit data? It really doesn't transmit the data. Log radiation data. Huh. It's got it over here. That's a lot of data. That's a lot of megabytes for just a temperature scan. And, well, crew report's just, just gonna be a duplicate right now. Okay, we are in space. Log temperature. Transmit at the latest, uh, best opportunity. Maybe I should tell it to keep it, but... Okay, that's orbit. 80 by 82. And we've got 153 meters per second left. So, we can come back down. Good times. Now, where the temperature and barometer bound dependent, it still says in space near Kerbin, so... Yeah, looks like it's not surface bio independent anyway. 
Gotta keep an eye out for that sort of thing. Okay, well, let's try and get it back down closer to the KSC. We can't do EVAs yet. I'll have to remember to unlock that. Let's retro burn here. Technically, we haven't completed an orbit, but it counts, right? Everything we've got into orbit already, so no worries. That should do the trick. We could always use one of the other launch sites, but I don't know how recovery works when you're close to one of the other launch sites or whether you really have to be close to the Kerbal Space Center. Okay, turn normal. And getting rid of the spent stage. And retrograde. Well, that's a quick snap right there. Ooh, I s that's an interesting deviation. See, uh, I, I'm turning directly on roll, but when Valentina does it, it varies in more than just the roll direction. Oh, but now it's... Oh, sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. So maybe that's one of the features that we have now. I don't suppose there's a surface bound dependency here, no. It's just upper atmosphere. Okay. G-forces seem fairly mild at this point. We have nominal ablation. What does what does the Geiger counter actually say as far as our radiation? It doesn't really tell us the number, does it? Right? It says radiation nominal, but I think if we're going to be trying to make sure that we get the shielding right, we need an actual number for the radiation. I think we're gonna be on land again. Maybe Valentina can get some desert science. Okay, parachute. Okay, well, let's get some low science, uh, low atmosphere readings flying at Kerbin uh, flying over Kerbin's deserts we can do a crew report good we've got 1.13 gigabytes okay and how about at Kerbin's deserts yes and EVA EVA here whoa non-regen scrubber Data empty. Anyway, EVA report. Keep. Gotta remember that they have parachutes now, the Kerbals. 40 science earned. Okay, and Valentine is on level 1. Let's see, astronaut complex. Let's make sure that they can perform EVAs. I think we can spend on that. How's our launch pad? Right now we're limited to 18 tons. We might as well spend to upgrade that too. Here, max part supported. 30, but the upgrade cost is such that we probably shouldn't do that just yet. And um, let's get the Terrier with a new model now. And that's all we can get right now, I think. All right. Well, we've done all the basics uh, in this episode. I think we can call it here. We've gotten to orbit. We haven't really hit the more interesting things about Kerbalism just yet, but that's probably for the best because if it... Uh, tossed you a high learning curve right at the start, that would not be very nice. And I, I, I don't know, uh, would crew really get irritated on a 12 minute flight? I don't think so. But uh, yeah, anyway, we have a lot to learn yet. I still, I obviously had some questions about how things were working, especially with the data transmission. So I'll look into that. But with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.